back trail. The American, here's your start list. Tommy Aramandiano, Thomas Kane, Routliff, Wegerman, Gaffney, Lettenberger, Beru, and Duchesne. Women's 200 meters individual medley, SM7 final. is having quite the week. The 30 year old. Well, Maru Wegman, slow reaction, but when she gets going, she's up and into the front of the pack, that black hat of the newly crowned Butterfly world champion from earlier in the week, leading as you would expect down this first 50 meters on the butterfly leg of this 200 meter individual medley. Julia Gaffney, her compatriot, she got the silver and she's trying to go with Wegerman here as we come into the final five meters of the first turn. Yeah, that fly medal meant an awful lot to Mallory Wegerman. Nine years since she was last competing in a world championship seven years since her last international medal. Well, Wegerman is the world record holder in this event. That, that world record was set in 2010 at the world championships where she dominated this SM7 and the S7 category at that meet. And here we can see again, she's going very well giving herself the best chance because Tiffany Thomas Kane of Australia in lead two, she had a blinder to win the 100 meter breaststroke, broke the oceanic record by four seconds earlier in the week. So she'll be chasing, we saw in the men's race how powerful a breaststroke leg can be. And now the charge will be on, but at the moment we have a half weight at one, two, three for the USA. Yeah, it could be an all-American podium. That really wouldn't be out of the question here. Mallory Wegerman going along very, very well. Looks extremely strong. And here we see Paralympic silver medalist Tess Routliff of Canada in lane three. There, that white cap trying to break up the USA. One, two, three, going very well here. She set a Canadian record in the breaststroke event where she took the silver behind Thomas Kane. And this breaststroke has been an absolute stormer of a leg for Tess Rutliff. She is phenomenal and she might just catch Mary Wegman, but no, Wegman holds her off by just over half a second. And now the race is on for home. Julia Gaffney there, we can see one lane up from Mallory Wegman, trying her hardest to get back on turns, make sure that she gets on this podium, but now Mallory Wegman looks to be in control of the front of this pack. But here comes Julia Gaffney. She is finishing very, very strongly here, and the comeback is on for Gaffney. Wegman holding on by the skin of her teeth. It's gonna go right down to the wall. USA versus USA. Gaffney's done it. The comeback queen, Julia Gaffney. By two hundredths of a second, what a finish. Look what it means to her supporters. Look what it means to young Julia Gaffney. Mallory Wegerman defeated by millimeters, if even that. Well, what a win for Julia Gaffney. She came in world, ranked as world number one and she delivered two one hundredths of a second is all that separated the two Americans. Well, in theory, Liz, she timed her race to utter perfection. Might not have wanted to leave it that close, but the freestyle was always going to be strong. You've got to give a huge amount of credit to Mallory Wegerman for taking that out as hard as she did. But Gaffney's freestyle was absolutely brilliant. The breaststroke set it up, got her into contention, 
and then she really let loose on that free. Absolutely, Mallory Wegerman didn't do anything wrong. There you can see the strength of Mallory Wegerman going very well, but Julia Gaffney, she just... The chasing athlete always has a slight advantage. They finish faster, they get the grip between their teeth, and they just go, and there we see them in that overhead shot, just how close it was. I was thinking we might end up with another joint gold from the same nation, but it wasn't to be. That was the moment she knew. Julia Gaffney is the world champion. Confirmed results. It's an all North American podium.